All right, this is Jesse Santiago with FMAPulse.com. We got a special guest here for you today. We're here at the Laugh Factory here in Chicago, and this is next, uh, Rex Never Ready. I got that right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So everyone knows Rex Never Ready as the comedian, but do we know Rex Never Ready as the martial artist? Mm. So if you could give us a little bit of info about your martial arts background and specifically your Filipino martial arts background. Yeah, yeah. no, you know, it all started with judo. There was no judo for years, and then. Uh, uh, then I decided to go into maybe a little bit of Wing Chun and then I discovered uh, Filipino martial arts and I started with uh, Kali Ilustrissimo and then, and then moved over to uh, Kabales Sarada system of Eskrima. Okay, and how long did you train in each system? Yeah, no, I don't know. It was like <laughs> off and on, you know, just whenever I could because, uh, you know, scheduling and all that stuff. But yeah, when I was really into it, yeah, I, 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 I learned enough. I learned enough. It was really nice to be part of a uh, community uh, in California that was really practicing it, you know, full time and, and to just jump in when I could and because I was, you know, of course, really a lot into judo. In your opinion, like, why is why do you feel that Philippine martial arts is not getting the credibility like kung fu, mixed martial arts, karate, taekwondo? Um, maybe maybe it's just our PR system, you know. <laughs> maybe we need to just find a better way to get it out there. But you know, slowly, I think it's happening organically and. Uh, you know, with with guys like uh, like uh, Danny Inosanto, you know, who's out there. You know, he's 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 the right hand guy to Bruce Lee. You know, and you know he's 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 like one of the last guys to even like you know uh, 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 be on top of Jeet Kune Do, and then you know his experiment, you know, and, and his uh, and his uh, journey into Filipino martial arts, you know, something like that, because he's a Hollywood guy too, and, and a worldwide instructor. So it's nice to, you know, have guys like him still doing it and passing it on to like younger students, and then and then now discovering, you know, all these other grandmasters who've been around and and who's you know who their students are. So it's a nice, nice, tight community. And are you, do you feel like you're at that level where you can teach the Filipino martial arts to other people? Me? Oh my gosh! <laughs> no, 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 no. I, you know, me. I just. You know, I just do it for only it's like self development and uh, incorporated with everything else. You know, and it teaches you it teaches you precision and and, and it, it just like when I'm doing stand up too. It's like a, it's a lot of a, a lot of that stuff that I learned. You know, uh, on stage, it's just placement. You know, breathing, precision, delivery, all that stuff, spacing. You know, it all comes into play. So, you know. Yeah, you'll see it. Cool. Have you ever used it on the streets? On um, the uh, uh, no. Uh, no, no. But just in case, yeah. You, you always go back to your training. It's a more muscle memory. Uh, but the best way to avoid a fight is just don't even enter into one. So have you come up with any funny material involving Filipino martial arts? <laughs> I wish. I'd love to do like a Jason Bourne comedy. You know, no, no, you know, you know, Matt Damon knows knows the scream of, which is crazy. You know, all this Born Identity movies, that's amazing. That don't mess with Matt Damon. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> don't mess with Matt Damon. Yeah, because he uh he has that Boston accent, so we'll call it. That's the same Kali as that Kali, 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 Screamer, <laughs> Screamer. So would you like to do a shout out to any of your like um your instructors um, that you learned your Filipino martial arts? Oh man, uh, well, uh, uh, they're all gone. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, uh, you know, like uh, like uh, everyone knows who they are, you know, um, and everyone's going doing really well. So you know, like uh, wow, wow, I don't know who's around anymore if they're still teaching, but yeah, yeah, everyone who who helped me out with Kabbalah system and then the uh, Illustrissimo system. And even my, my judo senseis, you know? Yeah, everyone's all part of a nice community that man, I keep really close to my heart. What attracted me to the Philippine martial arts? It's ours, you know? And it's our, it's our right to pass on, you know, to everyone who wants to learn it. But I want to have Filipinos learn it, you know? But it's open to everybody, and it's a beautiful art form, and, it's, uh, and it takes a different approach. It's not self-defense. <laughs> this is straight up warfare. You know, people need you need to just wrap your head around that. It is it's warfare, you know, and it, the best defense is always a great offense, you know, and that's what, how we've always been taught that. But you know, yeah, it, it centers you at the same time. For uh, Phil Ams that are interested or don't really know about it, what what would you tell them um, specifically about our culture in the Philippines? You know, because a lot of Phil Ams don't know what Philippine martial arts is, and yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, it's 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 deeply rooted in our our, our resistance movements, 
you know, that's how we defeated Spain. That's how we defeated many invaders. You know, really they have to learn the hard way. When Magellan was not prepared. When he came to the Philippines, I have a big Spanish sword. No, forget it. No, we're taking your helmet with your head in it. You know, seriously. No, this is the stuff that keeps our, our culture intact. You know, whether you like it or not, it's, it's martial arts. It's military arts. And it's the only thing that is going to keep your culture intact. And by any means necessary. You know, seriously, it's that old school mentality, that ancient mentality. You know, you want to take something from me? Go for it. Make your attempt. But you're going to find out the hard way that, you know, we have our own martial arts. We'll fight you back. Hey, this is Rex Navarrete, and you're watching FMAPulse.com. Excellent. Again, this is Jesse Santiago with FMAPulse.com. Make sure you check us out. You want the microphone? Like you want an actual mic? Or no, just can just, you pick me up? Yeah, I right. can pick you up anytime. Right. Yeah, yeah. Really? How was your show, Rex? Oh man, this was wonderful to finally do the laugh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely good. I don't think they want me back here at the laugh factory. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a fantastic time that I turn off the lights, but. Everyone who came out to the show, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Chicago. You made this homecoming really, really special. And we're going to do this again. Um, amazing crowds, but I did it. That factory, Chicago. Thanks, guys.